Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will learn how to create a stock control sheet, which will be an advanced version of our previous video, which you guys really liked. And thank you so much for your comments. And as you guys were requesting for an updated version of this, as some of you were interested in profit and some of you were interested in daily ins and outs and others were interested in inventory valuation and the daily updation. So in this video, we will cover all those things. So let's get started. So to create a professional stock control sheet, we will break this project in three sheets. So we will call first one as master sheet, so rename it as master. And then the second one will be ins and out, or you can call it daily updation. And then third one will be data, which will be raw data, which we'll use in our project. So we'll zoom this in from here for better vision. And then here we will start from data. So first we have products which we will be selling and then here we will have cost for the products which we will sell so cost and then price at which we sell so products can be anything which you sell but here i will use some random things so let's say i sell mugs or mug and then t-shirts and then shorts then shoes and slippers but you can add anything which you guys sell and uh, you can add in as many as you want so for pricing i will also use random numbers let's say i buy these for 10 and sell for 15 and then buy this for 16 and sell this for 20 then 12 then 30 for shoes and 25 for slippers these are buying prices and then for selling let's add six dollars so 18 dollars for shorts 39 for shoes and 32 for slippers so we have our cost price and products and then here we will add type so type of activity which we will be doing i will explain this later on so in type we will have buy and then sell so these are the activities we, which we will be normally doing in the business like buying and then selling so we will select this area and then by pressing ctrl a we will select this and then from here i will select format as sales and then choose a table so this will help us if we have many products so the selection of our data will be automated i will show you how it will work but let's choose any of the format which you like or you can sync this format with your other sheets so let's use this one so okay and we have this and i will press alt d ff to remove these filters and if i will click here so you can see these formatting so the benefit of doing this is when you will add more products like this it will keep changing and in the formulas as well you will see the selection from this table not just the rows which you will select so if you will select this data so it will not update anything from here but when you will select a table so it will keep updating when you will add more information so it will take all information from the table till the end even if you have selected the whole table and you have added data later on but i will remove this because we are not using these again so let's move to all ins and out and here i will zoom it again from here so here we will start working and here we will have the most important things which you guys will be updating uh, on daily basis or as your stock updates so first we will have date then product then type cost price then quantity in short and then quantity again i will explain why i am taking this quantity twice and then here the amount so these are the main components of this specific sheet so here we will have our date so let's use today's date so i will use this formula to to get date you can change it if you want to but i will take this because date is not relevant here so for product selection i will use data validation so to avoid spelling issues in the future so i will select data and then from here i will choose data validation and from here data validation and from here we will select list and then for source i will click here and then go into data and then i will select from here till the end and press enter 
we have our data here and then input message so this is the input message which you will see when you will select that cell so let's use it title will be product and input message will be only select a product nothing else right so only select a product and then error so what error you want to see when you add something different than your product so and you can also command this validation so if you are entering anything else than your products it should stop you warn you or just inform you so let's use this like I want Excel to warn me if I am using a wrong product so warning and title will be wrong selection or you can customize it uh, whatever you like so please select a product from approved list okay so select and okay so now as you can see now this is showing product and on the bottom you can see it's saying only select a product so which means we have validation only in this cell so we'll copy the cell and then paste on the rest and now you will have this in whole line so let's say mux it will show you error and and showing the same error which we typed so please select a product from approved list and wrong selection which we just typed so if you want to continue you can press yes or no so let's say I will fix it mug and then short it's showing either so maybe we should type short yeah and shoes it's fine when you will type shoe it will okay so s if I remove s and it's showing the same error and if you type anything else brand show error so the reason for data validation is so that you don't make typo and the formulas don't get confused and here we will use same data validation play setting list and from here I will only select these two and enter and an in input message I will type by or cell a simple and I want it to stop me without a message so we'll copy this validation from here by pressing ctrl C and paste from here till the end so ctrl shift and down and paste so it's all over now as you can see this arrow so let's try when I will type buy it's fine when I will type brand it's showing error and then when I will say sell it's fine purchase it's showing error so let's sell this and make it buy and then sell then shorts slippers and then t-shirts even if I will just type shirt it will show error so for costing we'll use formulas so our first formula will be equals to if so if is a condition if and then tab so it's asking for the logical test so the test is if type is buy it means when I'm buying it so if this sale is equals to buy so we'll type buy in quotation mark so buy quotation mark over then comma so which means if this condition is fulfilled then value if true so I will use a different formula here if this is equals to buy then we look up this is another formula I have covered these all formulas on my channel if you want to learn these I will leave the link in the description so we look up then tab so lookup value so lookup value will be this so if this is buy then find mug so I will select this sale as lookup value then comma and table array so we, we have to select the table where we have this data so by pressing control page down I will go to data tab and then from here I will select from here till the end as you can see it has selected table 
not sales which i was referring to in the start so comma and it's asking for column index number so column index number is the number of column in which it has to find the data so we have our data like cost in our case here in b which is the second one so i will press 2 which you will see here now then comma exact match and then bracket over when you will close the bracket and now you can see it's showing the reference of if so we are done with this formula which is vlookup now it's referring to f formula which we started here so if this cell is equals to buy then it will use this formula but what if it's not true then comma and it will show you value if false if this value is false which means that cell is not a buy type then it will be zero bracket over and enter so when i will copy this and paste it here it's taking price from data sheet which you can verify it's 12 for shorts and then when i will copy this and paste here you will see zero because command is not correct so when i will use buy here it will take price from there otherwise it will not so for price we'll use same formula equals to if tab this sale is equals to sell in quotation mark then use vlookup and lookup value will be this one then comma table array we will select table array again but now till c then comma and it's asking for column index number so now we have data in third line so we'll press three then comma it will ask for approximate or exact match so we are looking for exact match so tab and then we'll close this bracket and now we are done with value if true then comma now we have to select value if false then zero and break it over and enter so now you are seeing zero because the call is for buy but when i will copy this and paste this formula till here so you will see price here because here you can see sell so when you will even change this to sell it will remove cost from here and give you price here and for quantity you will add quantity which you buy or sell let's say here i purchased 100 mugs and purchased 200 shorts and i will change this to buy and i will explain this so when you are buying it the quantity will be adding up now i'll explain why we are using quantity two times here we have normal quantity which we are buying or selling but here we want to see inflow and outflow of the inventory so we'll use equals to if then tab if this sale is equals to buy then this value will be a positive value because this is increasing our inventory so for value if true it will be normal inventory and value if false if this is not buying then use a different condition if tab we will select this sale again now in second condition if this sale is equals to sell then we will take this quantity as negative so minus and then select this sale so it will take this as negative then comma zero bracket over and enter you can see it's showing positive because we are buying here then copy it and paste it here here and here now you will see it's showing a negative inventory which means we have purchased 300 shoes and out of which we have sold 200 that's why it's showing negative so we'll copy this from here till the end so it will simply use this type and quantity from here let's fill it up the shorts we sell here 100 and then slippers we buy t-shirts we buy then we'll copy these here again then here we are selling we purchase 150 of slippers 500 t-shirts and then selling 75 slippers and 400 t-shirts you can see this is all automated now and here on amount we'll use our formula again so our formula is equals to if we are using if many times here but if you are confused with if and when i was using multiple ifs here in quantity i have covered these both in my channel so you can check those out so if tab this cell is equals to buy as you can see i am using this line in almost every formula so this is important that's why i have used data validation to avoid typo or any spelling issues so if this is a buy command then comma multiply this with the quantity 
otherwise if again if this cell is a command which is equals to sell then comma so if this is a selling command then multiply price because when we sell we sell at price and purchase at cost so when we were buying here so it was cost into quantity but when we are selling here so then we will use price into quantity multiply with quantity bracket over and zero bracket over and enter showing error because we have some issue here okay so equals to yeah this sale is equals to we forgot to add equals to and enter and enter it will fix that issue so copy and I will paste it till here and you can see everything here in case you want buying to be shown as negative you can do it but I will leave it as this is so you can see we have everything here cost price quantity and quantity as in and out and then amount of that transaction so I will do a little bit formatting so I will copy this till here and I will remove this and let's choose format as table again so I will select this by pressing ctrl A and then from home format as table we will select this same format again and okay you can see this to remove these filters I will press alt T F F so we are done with second sheet and let's move to the master sheet which will be the actual sheet which you guys are looking for so I will again zoom this in from here so here we will have four main things first will be purchases and we will leave three lines and then revenue we will leave three lines again inventory and we will leave three lines again and profit so here first row will be product and then here we will have cost quantity and then total cost and then here on revenue side we will have cost quantity and price and for inventory we will use the same by just copying it by pressing ctrl c and pasting it here by pressing ctrl v so let's do some formatting here so i will select this and then merge middle align and i will merge these these three and these three and make it bold let's make these all bold and then i will use table to differentiate these so i will make a line here 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 and here so you can see this let's make it here as well so escape let's merge this as well and middle align okay so for products we will copy this data from this sheet I will just copy it so you can copy it as well if you have many products like 50 or 100 you can just copy those because it will not be repeating like this because here we have all in and out everything here but this sheet will be a master sheet where we will not be updating anything so I will just paste it here and from here past values only so we'll have this in simple format and then let's make it bold and for costing we'll use VLOOKUP so equals to VLOOKUP so lookup value is mug so we are looking for the cost of mug so we have selected this then comma it's asking for table array so we have table in this data sheet so we'll select this and then we'll select two columns then comma and as we have our data in second column so we'll press 2 then comma then we want exact match so false we'll select this and then tap bracket over and enter so we got our cost here so we'll copy this here 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 and here so we got our cost and we will use same formula here sorry here we will have price and here total sales so here we will use our formula we look up the lookup value will be same comma we'll select this 
till price and then comma now we have our data in third column so three comma exact match bracket over and enter so we got price here so we'll copy and paste it here and then for inventory we'll use same formula we look up and then lookup value remains same comma table array will be same like purchases so we'll select two columns comma we'll press two comma exact match bracket over and enter we got same price i mean cost we'll paste it till here so we got price and cost for all so for quantity we will use a sum ifs formula which is really interesting so let's do it in the last but in total cost we'll just simply multiply cost with quantity and that's it so we'll copy it till here and we can paste it here as well which will actually multiply price with quantity and then we can simply copy this and paste here as well so we'll get inventory value by multiplying cost with quantity so let's start with purchases now so we'll use our formula so equals to some ifs please note I will use some ifs uh, so if is when we use one condition but as I will use two conditions then I will use a complex formula which is some ifs so I will select this formula then tab as you can see some ifs so in some if we use only one condition but in some ifs formula we use more than one condition now this is asking for some range so now we'll select the quantity column where we have quantity so we'll go to ins and outs and we'll select this quantity till here then comma and now we have to select criteria range one so our first criteria is the product so we'll select from here till the end then comma now it's asking for criteria so it will look for criteria here but what is the criteria so in this case our criteria for this line is mug so we'll select this then comma and now it will ask for criteria range 2 so what is our second condition that is buy or sell so we'll go to ins and outs and we'll select from here till the end then comma and it's asking where to find that type so now we will go to data sheet from here and we will select this buy and I will lock it by pressing F4 break it over and enter so you can see it's showing 100 and it's getting multiplied by cost so I will copy it and paste it till here so you can see all the purchases if you want to verify you can do it as it is saying 500 t-shirts so let's check uh, where we have t-shirts so here we go buy and 500 and the amount was 8000 which we have here as well let's check sleepers 150 and let's check and we have sold and we have purchased here you can see here let's do some modifications let's say we sold more slippers and let's say we purchased so buy and we got the cost and let's say we purchased 100 more so you can see the amount here and when I will go to master sheet you can see the quantity has increased because we purchased 150 and then 100 so it should be 250 which you can see here and for revenue we'll use the same formula so equals to sum ifs tab and our sum range will be same so we'll select this then comma criteria range will be same which is product so we'll select from here till the end then comma now we'll go to master sheet and then we'll select our product which is criteria one and then comma it's asking for criteria range 2 so we'll move to ins and outs again and we'll select criteria 2 from here then comma and it's asking for criteria so what is the criteria and for selling we have sell as criteria so we'll select this from data so we'll choose this and log it up by pressing f4 and you can see dollar sign now break it over and enter so you can see zero because we have not sold mugs I think okay let's check we have purchased mugs here but we have not sold anything so let's try it here mug and we have sold now 
so sell we got the price and let's say out of 100 we have sold 99 let's check now you can see not showing 99 as sold and for inventory we will use simple formula which will be equals to purchases minus sold so we have purchased 100 and sold 99 so we should have one as inventory so enter and you can see one so we'll copy it from here till the end and we'll copy this formula from here till the end now you can see all the purchases and sales here and inventory will be here so quantity of inventory and revenue should be equals to purchases because if you have purchased 100 and sold 99 you will have one and if you have purchased 200 and sold one so you should have 100 as inventory and for profit we'll use simple formula equals to bracket selling price minus cost bracket over equals to quantity sold and enter because the profit is price minus cost so we'll copy it till here and you can see profit on all the products and you can modify it as you want let's do some more formatting so I will I think now it's looking perfect and you guys can create it by following the instruction or you can purchase it from the link below with a very nominal fee and if you guys have any question related to this please write me down I will try to reply as soon as possible and you guys can buy me a coffee from the link below and if this video was helpful please hit that like button comment down if you have any question share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe